welcome Horkan Samuelsson, President and CEO, Volvo Car Group. Welcome uh, to us here at uh, Automobility LA. We are very glad to see the big interest in our company. And uh, as you can see here, we're doing something a bit different. We have no car on our stand. And uh, we believe really that uh, showing a car on stage, pulling off a silk sheet, maybe is not the best way of presenting a car in the future. Because a future car is more than just uh, chrome and leather and horsepower. Even more important will be the consumer experience that the car can deliver. So we have chosen to really focus on that today here. And we believe having a car would dilute that mes message. So right now we would li like to give you an idea of uh, the future of in-car infotainment. We will... Uh, present the partnership we have with Google and how uh, we by introducing the Android operational system in the car we can offer of course a much wider offering of different uh, applications in the car which is something our consumers are really expecting. Another interesting partnership is uh, in-car delivery. We're working with Amazon so you can get your online shopping items delivered not to your house because there you probably not will be. It will be delivered to your uh, the luggage of your car. Also here in California we have some very interesting high-tech startups. One of them is Luminar, which is uh, delivering a very crucial element for autonomous drive. Here it's crucial to see better and uh, Luminar are working with a very long-range high-definition LiDAR which we will apply in, uh, in our car. Also very important and uh, last but not least of my examples would be Care by Volvo which is really the way we will in the future also bring the car to our customers. You can subscribe for a Volvo in the future, you don't need to buy it. And this is something that is also very attractive to, to customers. So these are examples really how we can, with better consumer experience, really come back to the original idea of the course and strengthen that. And that is really the possibility to go wherever you want to without schedules exactly when you want it. It's really the freedom to move. And that is going to be our future product. But of course with new technology we will also eliminate the negative as aspect of this. So we will be delivering freedom to move in a sustainable, personal and safe way. That will be the future product from our company. So with that I would like to give the word to Morten Levenstam who will tell you more about these examples. Thank you for coming. Hello and welcome again. My name is Morten Levenstam and I'm the head of strategy at Volvo. Well, this is not a car, clearly. So why did we do that? Well, typically when the automotive companies want to portray the future, we have typically shown concept cars. And if you look around this building, that's typically what you see all around this building. We decided this time it was more interesting to focus on the concept of a car instead of showing a concept car. Because the times, they are changing much more than I think most people are aware of right now in our industry. So instead of trying to do what we have done in the past, basically pushing cars out into people's lives, we would really like now to focus on how we can bring your life back into the car. We understand that people have a digital life and we would like to bring that digital life into the car through Google. We understand you have a lot of stuff that you want and we would like to bring that stuff into your car. Even more importantly, we would like to bring new people into the car and that's exactly what we are doing with Care My Volvo and we will talk about that in a moment. And then finally, driverless cars where we have an opportunity now to also bring back quality time into the car. So it's really about taking people's lives and adding that into the car and discuss the concept of 
the future. Well, clearly this is not a car, and maybe Volvo is not just a car maker. In much the same way, Google is not just a search engine, it's much more. And we understand that all of you have a digital life, and we don't think it's so clever to try to fence you off from the car and build up a parallel digital life inside the car. So we would really like you to be able to take your digital life and bring that into the car. And with that, I would like to introduce David Ibbeson, our Head of Communication. So David, could you please enlighten us what we are doing together with Google? I can try, Morton. Yes. Uh, good afternoon and welcome. Uh, anyone who's been online is going to recognize these colors. These are the colors of Google. Anyone who has used an Android device is going to know that Android device is a, uh, allows you to personalize your technological experience. It gives you flexibility. Imagine taking that level of personalization and flexibility into your car, and that's what we're doing. I am not the right person to explain this to you. He is. This is Nicholas. He's the director of software development. Nicholas, tell us all about it. Well, um, the main reason we're doing this is that we want to build the world's best entertainment system. Um, not only that, we want to be the best device in the car. Our benchmark needs to be that we are the preferred device in the car that the customers use over their phones even. Um, Android is the world's biggest software development platform um, and it's used in smartphones, in tablets, in TVs, in smartwatches and together with Google now we're pushing that into the car domain and that lets us leverage technologies from across all those domains to make sure that we can give our customers the best possible experience and Android is an open platform so it lets us easily work and collaborate with different partners to make sure that our customers have access to their favorite apps and services. Um, so you don't need a phone, you don't need to connect a phone, uh, but very much in the same way that you personalize your phone, you download your content, you'll do the same thing in the car. Um, there will be thousands of apps to choose from and if you like Spotify, you'll download Spotify. If you prefer Apple Music, you'll download Apple Music. Um, and you'll be able to actually personalize it around you. Um, I think, personally, this is the best thing since sliced bread, <laughs> and it's the most fun work I've ever had. Good. I told you it was the right guy to talk about it. Okay. Thank you, Nicholas. Uh, that is not the end of me. What I'm going to do is try and explain this rather weird stand to you. So Morton's going to say a few more words, and while he's talking, I'm going to move over there, and we're going to take a sort of a, a whistle-stop tour of what we're trying to say here. But for now, back to Morton. Thank you, David. Well, let's turn to quantum physics. Uh, why is that? Well, I think that's the only exception where you can actually be in two places at the same time. You and I cannot be in two places at the same time, so if you buy things and you need it delivered at home, and you're not at home, what to do? Why can't you get it delivered into your car? And that's exactly what you can do now in 37 cities in the US. Order things through Amazon and get it delivered to the trunk of your car. And David, could you please tell us why this is really important? Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, I think there's a symbolic as well as a real interest in what we're showing here. Uh, what we've got uh, is a recognition of the fact that pretty well everyone in this room, I expect, has had a parcel delivered. Pretty well everyone has missed that parcel. Pretty well everyone has had to go and pick it up uh, elsewhere. Um, and what we're saying is those days are over. You can now use your car as part of your commercial experience. Your car, which sits there for 95% of a day not being used, can actually work on your behalf while it's sitting there and create time for you. Uh, but that says something also about the changing nature of the relationship between the car and the uh, owner of that car. Uh, here, to talk to me about it, is another perfectly qualified guy, Jasper Andreessen. Jesper, uh, please tell me all about it. Why are you surrounded by empty carters? Well, for starters, we believe that receiving a package should be as easy as ordering one, which is part of our digital strategy of simplifying the experience and putting control in the hands of our customers. We all know that online shopping is taking off, but that comes with a couple of pain points, especially when it comes to delivery. Will my package eventually get stolen? Or could it get stolen? Would it be left outside in the rain? Or to your point, David, having to wait around for it? Uh, we believe that at Volvo, we design our products around people. And by giving this everyday convenience, we hope to make life easier for our customers and also give them back time. 
And I'm really happy today to uh, have Amazon with us on the stand, and I look forward to uh, telling you guys more about the product. Good. Okay. For now, thank you very much. Just as a quick reminder, both Nicholas and all of our spokespeople are available to talk to you later. Uh, we have a number of other things to show you. But for now, once again, that's it from me. Back to Morton, and I'll move on. Okay, thank you, David. Now, we talked about how you can get your digital life into the car and how we can get your stuff into the car. We would also like to get more people into the car. So I think one novel idea that we're having now is not to buy a car, but to subscribe to a car instead. And that's a new way for us to get more and new people into our cars. So David, could you please tell us a bit about Caravai Volvo? Yes, I can. Uh, let's look behind my shoulder and read what it says there. Uh, it says, don't buy our cars. I can't remember uh, any time a car company came to a car show and specifically instructed you not to buy our cars, but that's what we're saying. Um, there's a reason for that, uh, and it's because consumer habits are changing along with technology. Uh, I'm joined here by Peter Wexler, who's going to explain to me why that is relevant today. Peter. Hi, David. Yeah, we already see consumers subscribing to music and to movies, so we thought about the idea of why can you not subscribe to a car and for one flat monthly fee, you can get not only the car, but the maintenance and the insurance included. And this is something that we offer here in the US market today in all 50 states. And we have seen that it really resonates among our consumers. And specifically, it resonates with the younger generation. Our, the average age of our Care by Volvo subscribers is 10 years younger than our traditional car buyers. Mm. Thank you, Peter. Um, okay, back to you, Morton, and I'll go to my next port of call. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. <clears throat> now, if we now we have basically discussed the present, but if we look further ahead, what is the big change that will come? There are many, as I said before, but one of the big, big changes will be self-driving technology, where we will have the ability to have self-driving cars. I think it's important not to think about autonomous drive as just a car without a steering wheel. I think that's the same mistake as thinking about a car as a faster horse. It's not what you take away that's important, it's what you enable and what you will add back. So it's a much, much more significant change than what I think most of us understand right now. And I think one key thing that this enables is that it will be possible now to put back quality time into the car again. That's one really important aspect. We are working together with several different partners and we will show a couple of them here, Senuity. <clears throat> we will talk about our 360 concept and we will also talk about Luminar. So David, can you explain a bit of this for us? Uh, I'll do my best. Okay, so let's take a, a look once again over my shoulder at this. So everyone uh, here is now live uh, on the screen in a certain way and you can actually see your own movements. Um, I don't know what that represents, but Petter Hurling does. Petter, what are we looking at? Why is it important? Yes, right. So going back to ending up with the fullest driverless car, that evidently the perception of what's around the car is super important. And you need to be able to do that in all climate, in all contexts. And what we see with the Luminar and the partnership and what we've developed jointly is that we have a really high resolution and also an extensive range. So what we could see now is up to 250 meters what's ahead of the car, which is evidently what could end up with handling back the, the uh, freedom to move. Okay, Petter, thank you very much indeed. Okay, but this is not just technology for technology's sake. We're going to commercialize this. Um, and one of the ways we might commercialize it, one of the ways we would like to commercialize it, is to take this kind of technology and introduce safe autonomous driving. Safe autonomous driving. Um, and one of the ways we can actually make this technology realizable is to put it in uh, something like this, uh, which is our 360C concept. Uh, and I'm joined now by Robin Page, who's our head of design at Volvo Cars, and he's going to explain to you our, our vision for, for future uh, autonomous drive cars. Robin. Okay. Yeah, this is the 360C uh, concept, and it's really a design exploration of, of what full autonomous cars could bring. So this means no steering wheel, it means no driver. And uh, what we've done here is actually study one exterior design, but we've explored four different interior scenarios. So you later can come here and actually experience this through our VR headset. 
So let me take you through what those four scenarios are. The first one is actually what we call the Scandinavian living room, and that is our commute vehicle. The second one is an interesting proposal. It's based on an office. So instead of renting office space, say, in LA, you would actually have this vehicle, you would have a meeting, present your work, have a coffee. Then the third one is uh, about a, a Swedish kind of living room, uh, but it's a lounge for the evening. So going from your hotel, maybe then to a restaurant with friends, and you can have drinks, snacks, and be entertained. And then the last one, which personally is my favorite, and it's exploring really an alternative to short-haul air travel. So it's a sleeping car that you can basically get into from your home or from work, and then it takes you directly to your destination, and you can sleep during the night. So really interesting concepts. Please come down, experience it for yourself in the VR, and really see what the future of autonomous drive can bring. Mm, thanks, Robin. I urge you to go and check out that VR experience. It's extremely illuminating. Okay, so a weird stand. Uh, we admit it, we're comfortable with that, but with a pretty simple message. Uh, where is Volvo right now? Volvo is with Google in a whole new personalized and flexible way to interact with your car. Where else is Volvo? Volvo is with Amazon, uh, offering connected services uh, that free up uh, your car so you can do something else with your time. Volvo is also completely changing the way that you have access to your car. You don't have to buy it anymore. You can subscribe to it just as simply as getting a phone. Volvo has got a series of partners um, for its future development uh, that allow us to develop some of the safest autonomous drive technology there is. And we're looking to take that technology and commercialize it in future in autonomous drive robo taxis. So that's where we are. That's where we're going. Morton, back to you. Thank you, David. So hopefully now we have showed that it's more important to discuss the concept of a car instead of showing concept cars. That things are changing in a much more fundamental way than what I think most people understand and expect. And even more importantly, it's not about pushing cars into people's life, but actually bringing your life back into the car and make car again freedom to move. That's really the main topic of this whole session. So with that, we will close this press conference and I will invite Walken up to stage again. Thank you, Walken. Yeah.